Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Yeti here, and I finished the Left 4 Dead 2 load order editor, so we're just gonna go ahead and run through some stuff um, that might have changed uh, any of the features that I didn't mention. Uh, check the previous video just in case. But here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna uh, you're gonna load the add-on list, and then it will load uh, all of your add-ons from the game. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You're gonna load your add-on list and you'll find that in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2, Add-on List.txt. You just click that and it'll load them all up. Now you'll see all these highlights here and that's just a feature of the program allowing you to highlight mods so you can get a visual on them if you're uh, you know, doing anything special or you just want to remember where they are, whatever. It's a nice useful feature to have so it's there. Um, also Auto Fetch Description is on by default now. Um, it's quick and doesn't freeze the UI. Um, there used to be a problem where you would scroll through the items fast like this and you might get the wrong description or wrong picture that's been patched. Um, the multi select and allow drop, we'll go ahead and showcase that quick too. A uh, nice feature that allows you to quickly move around items wherever you want to. Now I'm going to go ahead and reload the add-on list because I didn't mark my mods so I can remember what that is. And you've got a couple macros here. You can convert um, your list to local and what that's going to do is take all your workshop mods, strip them of the workshop tag, and then also move all the files to the add-ons directory which is a top directory to the workshop folder. So it'll just go ahead and move those over and uh, convert them to local for you. But what you're going to need to do is it, if you convert your add-ons to local is go onto your Steam Workshop and unsubscribe from all your add-ons. But they added a nice useful one-click button for that. And you can also save your mods to a whole collection before you go ahead and unsubscribe. Just so you have them on backup. Um, and then if you want to, you can convert them back to Workshop. To Read Only, we'll convert them to Read Only. And to Normal, we'll convert them so they can be edited. But these two features are depreciated, not really that useful. You can, if you want to, use them. Uh, Add-on list to normal to read only. Self-explanatory to normal will allow it to be edited. Uh, you want to be careful with that as long as you're not booting up Left 4 Dead and it's not running through the add-on uh, loading cycle, then you'll have no problems. Uh, there is another situation where it could get messed up, and that's when you go ahead and load your add-on list. Uh, for a brief moment, it'll toggle or it'll set the file to normal so it can be edited and then it will set it back to read only or I'm sorry that's why you're saving so I guess don't save your add-on list while Left 4 Dead 2 is loading its add-on cycle um, and then the final feature to showcase here is adding a mod which is very simple you just click add mod add-ons you find the mod you want it's typically probably gonna be a workshop mod uh, because you know it's where it's commonly downloaded from and then you click either the JPEG or the VBK whatever has the name of the mod and it'll go ahead and add it to the top of the list um, and it'll add it with a proper formatting and everything you won't have to worry about it you just save it after that and you're done but yeah that's all the new features I think I showcased them all if I forgot anything and you downloaded this and you're wondering, hey, what do I do? How do I do this? Just go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe for that algorithm, and I am out. Thank you guys for watching.